Hey, what's up guys? It's Strategist. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos. Uh, primarily because I've been focusing on the good stuff that people really want to see is uh, summoning videos. But the last one, obviously, completely and utterly fucking destroyed me. So I ended up uh, saving a lot of orbs in recent um, times. So the gameplay footage is basically a whole bunch of highlights, some goofy stuff like this shit right here, where uh, Tempest Trials was screwing around on me, doing this really weird feedback loop, and it went for quite a while before I noticed, obviously. But since we're here, um, and I've only got 13 minutes, I should get back on topic and actually talk about the stuff I want to talk about. Uh, starting with Rival Domains, which was a fantastic idea, I think, and it started off okay, right? And then we went ahead and, well, you know, IS went ahead and just shoehorned that fucking shit into their brand spanking new Grand Conquest, which ended up just being a little extra UI in regards to using the rival domain's um, gameplay so that excitement, that hype died extremely fucking quick, and I really suddenly and unabashedly hate Rival Domains. And that's really disappointing, because that's, that is a lot of stuff we've been asking for. That is a culmination of what a lot of the community has been asking for for quite a while, like utilizing the friends list system, bigger maps, more units... You know, using your, your friends list and their, their characters, which is awesome. But I guess to put it a much better way is that it's just rather disappointing uh, how it's being handled. And it also seems that uh, I wasn't alone in simply reaching uh, tier 20. So that way you get all the rewards and then, you know, never touching the mode again. I actually even forgot that it ended and got a couple more rewards and... That was kind of the long and the short of it, so, yeah, rather very disappointing, because I know it could be so much more. But hey, I guess it's better than nothing, right? Maybe their plan is to, like, put stuff out and then improve it over time, like Tempest Trials. Oh my god, Tempest Trials. Temp no, Tempest Trials plus. <laughs> what? Raise your hand if you remember the original Tempest Trials. The one with Veronica on it and was mind, actually mind-blowingly difficult to achieve, let alone get the uh, one of the highest rewards in there, which I believe was, what, Quick, quick Impulse? You needed a significant amount of points to get that. But it's rather interesting that essentially IS is advocating and making it easier for people to just cheese their way through it on auto battle. That's really weird, actually. Most times when you see uh, farming behavior like this in a game like uh, maybe Destiny, for example, where, you know, people find a way to cheese something and farm for whatever. I'm not too familiar with Destiny, but... Um, just using them as an example, uh, usually the developer will come back and kind of put like a little patch over it. Oh, and like the division, um, where you could farm like Phoenix credits from this one mini boss guy because he kept respawning really close. Um, developers will usually put a patch over that to kind of stop or mitigate the, the farming. But IS is over here just going, hey man, here you go, just do it. Even more, even harder. So now a lot of us in the uh, community are not actually calling it Tempest Trials Plus. We're just simply calling it Auto Battle Trials. <laughs> it's not released yet, but I can damn near guarantee you that 99% uh, of my Tempest Trials gameplay is going to be Auto Battle. I'm probably going to play it normal, like, literally all of once or twice, and then the... Rest of the remaining time on Tempest Trials, I will be auto-battling that to dust. Uh, speaking of auto-battle trials, I really actually appreciate their free unit this time around, Finn, who is a Lance Cavalier, 
And the reason why I mentioned that is because he power creeps the ever-living shit out of Clive. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I think the only thing Clive has on uh, Finn is HP and resistance. And for this particular, you know, unit, those stats are useless. So, long story short, as soon as I get Finn, he is going to be eating Clive. May Kermit the Frog's soulmate rest in peace. <laughs> now, speaking of Tempest Trials and the fact it's like Thracia related, can we just take a moment? Can, well, can I just take a moment to say how fucking bullshit it is that there is a new Reinhardt and he actually came out with the effect I figured he was going to have. What the fuck, IS? What is this steaming pile of shit you just fucking handed to us? What? So, like, now he's got a brave weapon again. But not only is it in the player phase, but you know what? We're going to crank that shit up times two. He can do it in the anime phase also. Get fucked. Noob. <laughs> um, it, I, I, I did react very vehemently um when i watched Faye channel but now that i'm seeing him pop up in uh arena everywhere like i knew i was going to uh he's actually not as strong as i thought he's going to be or rather maybe people haven't figured out just quite how to break him yet but if i have a relatively bulky unit he can just simply bait him in, tank him, and just whoop his fucking ass and send him back to hell where he belongs! Okay. <clears throat> mm. Since we're on the topic of hell, the summoning pool got fixed. <laughs> and to be completely honest, I didn't think they were ever going to do it. Like, holy shit, they fucking did it. And I also got that pity breaker Erica, who got demoted on the banners uh, that came out after the Faye channel, so that was ultra depressing, but if you are in the Discord, um, you will have noticed that I actually put a legitimate build on uh, Erica, and I may actually be using her on another team that I built, because I really like team building, I like using all the five stars I've gotten, um, and stuff like that, so... Long story short, I made her into a universal buff bot. Gave her the dual rally and, you know, hone speed and her weapon does the thing. So that's what she's there for. Pretty neat. Yes. Another interesting change is the fact that they um, changed the stamina cost for GHBs, BHBs, stuff like that to zero. Which is actually really interesting. Uh, especially considering that's where the vast amount of... All of our stamina potions have gone to, and now they may rest in peace because their sacrifice may now have been in vain, depending the circumstances. Um, I know people have spent upwards of 15 on single Grand Hero battles before. And because of these uh, stamina changes, um, we have discovered Hero Merit farming, a legitimate, albeit difficult, method of hero merit farming. And since b these things cost zero stamina, you can constantly, constantly, constantly do it. Uh, the only limit to this is A, finding a team that will auto-battle correctly uh, so they don't die on said uh, Grand Hero Battle, whichever one you may be utilizing in the rotation. Um, I am lucky, and I have, you know, ten legitimate teams built, ready to go, at a moment's notice. So, when the rotation happens, I can go through each one of my teams, kind of rotate the, the characters a little bit, and eventually I will find that one of my teams will auto-battle correctly and be able to finish... Uh, the the map so I can simply play it over and over again. That's the limit to this uh, farming is how long you're willing to kind of you know half-mindedly 
push the auto battle button and go into the battle again, hit the skip, auto battle again. So that's rather use useful, especially because I've been getting a lot of feathers in which to uh, help promote my merge projects. I've actually had some people ask me for tips on uh, hero merit farming, as though I uh, have know everything about it already, but I guess I do have a tip or two, which is uh, rally save lives. If your character doesn't have a rally support skill, uh, there are decent chance that they will just bum rush the enemy and maybe kill themselves somehow. So if you put a bunch of rallies on your teammates, they won't be as aggressive. So that may help out a couple of you guys that are trying to get this hero merit farming thing down. And then my other tip is like self-sustaining uh, abilities like Aether and whatnot. So long story short, I can put my Ike into a combination of three other random characters and usually be able to beat a lunatic grand hero battle on auto battle difficulty and be able to farm that uh, hero merit from characters I almost never use. But anyway, since uh, Grand Hero Battles cost fucking nothing now, and uh, I, I would have otherwise been spending uh, entire stamina bars to complete the quests and such, um, I have no fucking clue what to do with my stamina anymore. Like, now the goddamn um, Warriors maps are gone, so I can't even just SP farm those anymore. We got those, like, little special training workout maps now, and that's kind of what I've been reduced to auto-battling again. Just switching out the teams so I can even out the amount of SP everyone is earning, just auto-battle that shit, get some SP, and then drain that stuff to zero so I'm not burning stamina. I don't know what the fuck to do anymore. I don't... I, d I did everything. I did all the things. Probably shouldn't have. And now I'm bored. Help. <laughs> uh... Ah, this was the, the clip where I went against a Path of Radiance theme team, which I definitely wanted to showcase, and also showcase older Ike murdering all of his, <laughs> his past. <laughs> I kind of want to do theme teams along the lines that this guy did, but I've already uh, established a lot of my teams the way they are, and they already work extremely well together, so I have a hard time kind of screwing that all up just for the sake of, you know, because they go together. Now, kiss. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to go over the footage just a little bit over because I really do want to touch on colored bows a little bit. There's a lot of confusion surrounding that because we've only been teased at the fact that colored bow icons exist now. And I do have a good number of opinions about this, which are mostly positive, to be honest. And you can ask for details about it in the Discord if you like. I'll be there. The primary thing that I want to mention is I'm pretty sure that the weapon inheritance is going to function similar to uh, Dragon. I think it's rather interesting, and it can be a very good potential buff to certain units. Um, I don't think it's going to be game-breaking by any means, but it's going to change up the meta just a little bit in regards to uh, high defense mages, you know, range counters, stuff like that. It's going to be interesting to see what will happen when we have uh, bows also participating in the weapon triangle. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Thanks for watching.